Testing, one, two. Test, 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 test. Trick, trick, trick. Am I on the internet? Oh, there we are. Welcome, everybody. Top of the morning to ya. I'm trying other other streamers um, catchphrases now. <laughs> but yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for your membership, Eric. Welcome. Ron, I uh, hope I'm feeling better. It's been two weeks of, of, of coughing now uh, because it's probably COVID. Uh, my wife was positive. Let me turn this music down. Sorry. Uh, my wife tested positive a, a week or so ago, and I, I think I, I think I missed the window testing positive coming and going, but I've never been sick for two weeks straight. So I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that's what it is. Um, but yeah, how am I? I, I feel pretty good. Uh, I've just got a cough that doesn't want to go away, but, uh, I went after like day two or three having symptoms and they told me you're probably too early to test positive if you're whatever triple vaxxed or whatever. And he was like, yeah, if a lot of people are not testing positive for like a week. And then I started feeling a little bit better and took an at-home test and that was negative. And so I, I, I don't know though. I, I think I, uh, I think I had it and got rid of it and this is what's left over for now. My wife feels better too. She's back at work. So, but yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome uh, to the the Wednesday coloring stream. And um, I I was looking last night for something to do, and I, I've never actually spent a whole lot of time on that Heritage Auctions website that I tell you guys about <laughs> finding cool line art. There's a lot of really really cool line art on there. Uh, lots of classic covers. Um, I, I mean, I downloaded like 10 or 12 of these. They were really high res. Uh, this was a Wizard Magazine cover back in the day. And I have not found, and I haven't looked for it either, so don't send it to me. But uh, I haven't seen the colored version of this. And uh, so I'm just, I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> if I look at it, I'll, it'll ruin it. So I don't want to know how it was done before. But uh, but I used to love Wizard Magazine. Uh, I love the X-Men. I love Andy Kubert. He was one of my favorite artists uh, back in the day. Uh, one of the first guys I remember like following as a kid. And, uh, and there's a lot of cool lessons in this uh, with framing and perspective. And so, um, so anyway, I figured we could do this. And uh, it might be fun. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do first is get rid of that like that just like that and uh, but yeah questions comments concerns let me know <laughs> both times I got it the cough lasted about four weeks yeah there was a lady I ran into this lady who was at the dentist a few weeks ago and her daughter sounded horrible it was just her young teenage daughter was coughing her head off it sounded like her lungs were gonna explode or something she's like Oh, it's fine. She said that she's not contagious anymore. It's just left over from COVID. So, yeah, I don't know. But uh, I almost made it three years without catching the, this crap. So, um, anyway, SES Powerlifting, you have a question. Go go ahead. And uh, and thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this has not been flatted or anything, so we'll flat it, and I'll talk through all that. <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm gonna try to make it to the cough button <laughs> every time I make I make no guarantees. I need to move my drink to the other side. I'm gonna reach for that cough button and ruin my computer. But yeah. Um oh god, where to start? Um so the first thing I'm gonna do actually is take all the saturation out of this so there's no color because it's got a little bit of uh you can see the little warmth a little warmth there i'm just going to desaturate that completely so that we're only looking at uh 
uh, gray values and most of these blacks are black but not all of them you can see there's a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of other, oh, some other values in here so what I'm going to do for this is uh, make a levels adjustment on top and darken from this side so if you grab the left most little arrow here and pull it toward the right it will darken now you can overcook this okay uh, let me tell you what let me zoom up a little bit so here's how you'd know if you're going to overcook it or not if you do this and it starts like adding see it's adding like thickness to the lines a little bit you know, like you've gone too far if you've done that so uh i just want to get it to the point to where it is uh where all of this appears to be pretty uniform and I think it does shift that over a little and pull that over a little and I think that should be fine there you go and I'll just merge this down uh, I'm gonna put a color under this and get rid of the white of the paper uh, I used uh, Clips Convert Brightness to Opacity uh, feature there. You can also get to this under Edit, Convert Brightness to Opacity. I apologize to my voice. I am getting over uh, the Rona. Um, let me let me put this in the chat. What's going on? Or in this text down here. Uh, Lion Art by Andy Kubert. Coloring an old wizard cover for fun. There we go. And then throw an ad in there. If I can spell my website right. There we go. There, does that work? There. Sorry, I just noticed I didn't have anything down there. Uh, hot tea and cough drops. Yeah, I'm going, going through plenty of those. On another stream, you showed how to have a feather line instead of a hard line, and I can't remember how you did it with select an airbrush. <laughs> now would be a good time to insert an ad. Yes, yeah, right before I get started. Um, how I do a hard line and then select with an airbrush. Okay, uh, I'll do that real quick. So this is a very common problem question for uh, that, I, that I get. Uh, is to how to get the fade in the in the in the cut and grad, you know the cut and grad style they call it, where you have a uh, you know a light or a shadow or something that's fading into like nothing. How do you do that? Um, it has mostly has everything to do with your brush position. So if I make this as my selection, okay, I'm going to not hide the selection, which is hurting my eyeballs because I'm so used to it. But um, if you make your brush huge and like do this you're not getting the benefit of the gradation of the brush like that little fall off so what i usually do is whatever size my selection is you know make your brush about that big and i'm only going to use the edge of the brush like i'm like my pen tool is way outside of this selection right now okay and so I'm I'm just allowing the brush to do what it's doing instead of just uh, I, I have plenty of people that message me and they're like why why can't I get you know fades on my on my fades and it's like because they're just doing this and wondering why it doesn't work um, you have to do it <laughs> you have to actually do it yeah so but uh, but yeah you get a big soft brush or something that's got some fall off on it and get outside building in that that that'll do it. And um, so I don't know. Am I gonna flat this this whole day? Is that what this is gonna be? It might. It might be. Maybe I can find something interesting to talk about. Oh, and that line is not actually <laughs> straight. This is a. This happens pretty often as you think you got a straight line and you try to do it and your selection tool says no that is not straight at all 
So I want to uh, put a white border around this first. And uh, I'm just going to invert that to get outside it, fill it with white. Finally get to watch a stream. Thank you, James. James Lansbury. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. Great to be here with you and Kurt. Thank you, Melvin. Nice, nice, nice of you to say. Uh, believe it or not, Wizard was sold in Portugal. I figure it was sold all over. It was very, very popular. Uh, there was nothing cooler than Wizard Magazine when I was a kid. Um, nothing. Not even close. Not even in the ballpark. Um, so, flatting. What is it? What What's going on? What's happening? Um, flatting is where we're going to separate all these things into a bunch of different colors. Um, I will not use final colors for this because for me like my brain can't do both at the same time where it's like all right we're going to flat and we're also going to choose the colors you're going to use uh my brain doesn't work that way um <laughs> if like flatting is a is a uh a technical process that is not creative at all and so uh i i don't know i've never been good at just going straight to uh you know uh, the right color quote unquote you know what i mean um i would i would much prefer to uh it's just a different process of uh choosing your colors that are going to be in there from a creative standpoint versus what you need to uh flat where does this thing go And uh, I'll also sort of break this up into, uh, um, we'll, we'll start with big chunks and we'll end up in, uh, in smaller chunks. And that way we don't miss anything. So we don't need that way right now. We'll call this flat, we'll call this inks and uh, we'll just sometimes you can just shift the value you can use a bucket tool to drop a different color in there you can do whatever you want uh, where is that going yeah he does the i love his designs for like techie stuff like like, I remember, especially how he drew, like, the phalanx virus things. Like, they were, like, techno viruses or something. Like, I just, I love the look of how he used to draw that stuff. But, yeah, I, I think he was, he was a pretty massive influence on how I draw. And I kind of forgot that until I saw this cover. Did I not have, wait a second, what did I do wrong here? <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't mean to color that, that color. Oh, I know what I did. It's on a different layer. I put it on top. That should be there. And then merge down. <laughs> Sorry. Let me redo this. I'm a professional, people, can you tell? Where? There we go. How am I doing today? Not bad. I'm I'm getting over some COVID in my house. Uh, the Coover School put out an interview with Andy a couple days ago on their YouTube channel. I'll have to check that out. I didn't know they even had a YouTube channel. But yeah, I will look into that. His uh. When I was into comics, he, uh, Adam was drawing X-Men when I was into comics as a kid. Uh, Adam was drawing X-Men 
and his brother Adam was drawing Wolverine I think it was unless I'm flip-flopping the names I don't think I am Uh, I kind of like that you're making the flats. It provably means it will take longer, so there's more Kurt for everyone. Yeah, I, but I don't know. I, I think people might not like this, might not watch flatting very long. I don't think. So we'll see. If, if like, uh, if, if all you guys leave in 20 minutes, then uh, I will uh, I will send this to my flatter. Uh but I'm just doing this for fun, so I, I, I didn't really want to pay for it. Uh, some I have plenty of times before um, where it's just like, well, it's fun, but I'd rather save the time. But I don't know. This looks like it could be. I, I really just wanted to uh, be able to work on, on Andy's art. Um, so you get pretty... Um, pretty intimate with it when you're flatting <laughs> um, but yeah uh, so what I'll be doing is making uh, bigger and bigger shapes or, or, or start off with big shapes and then break them up into uh, little shapes Whoops. and uh, And everything in this front sort of foreground thing is what I'm going for at the moment. I think I've got all that stuff. We'll start with the figures and I'll break each one of them up. Do you color the negative space border the same as the background or the same as the character? Um, it depends on the art and depends, whoops, and it depends on, uh, uh, yeah, it depends on the page. Like, I don't, I don't think there's a, a universal for that rule or anything. I may have gotten too close. <laughs> we'll see if I can. Sometimes you get too close and you can't make sense of what's going on. But I recognize these claws. Uh, has anybody seen Avatar yet? the new uh way of the water or uh, way of water has anybody seen that i think i want to see it in uh probably go see it in imax theater there's one in slide l it's like 40 minutes away uh louisiana it's probably worth seeing it in imax 3d because he films it in 3d I just don't know if the movie's any good. <laughs> Avatar had the most unoriginal story maybe ever, ever. Um, and I'm and I'm sort of lost here. Hold on. Let me just do his hand because I can see it. Uh, where's the other end? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of too close to that one. I'm still hearing music. Oh, it's still playing. Is that coming through for y'all? I can't tell. Yeah, I heard music. I thought I was losing my mind. Wife bought you lunch. Be back later. <laughs> nice. Space Smurfs. Fern Gully 2. Uh, yeah, I'm glad, like, nobody just needs to be excited about it. Um, I don't know. I Like, if he's made, like, the first one was cool to me from a technical standpoint. Like, in the theater, it, it looked unbelievable. It was really, I haven't seen any, another movie look like that. 
And so I'm excited. I'm 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 really too close to this. Where where is his uh sorry, I gotta back up some. Yeah. There, that's a little bit better. I can see what's going on. And uh, and James Cameron like you know invents a lot of tech for all these movies, and so like that's impressive to me the tech side, and it'll look pretty. Um, but that's enough for me. Like I can like I, I saw a review that said it looked like it felt like being waterboarded with turquoise, and I thought that was funny um, because it does sound like what that movie would would be like uh, I also heard it's not uh, very friendly to colorblind people so apparently there's like a different race in the movie or something and uh, you, if you're if you're blue green colorblind then these people are blue and green uh, and so I was reading about this guy that like couldn't understand why uh, something was happening or why these people were doing whatever they were doing and uh, it was because he didn't realize they were different colors. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Is that? Oh, that's not his leg. Sorry. Yeah, I'll get this eventually. Is that everything? Okay, his third claw fits right behind his... Is that is that right? Is that a... I guess that's right. Yeah, it fits right behind the thing on his leg. His, uh... I think I've about figured it out. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I know... I don't think anybody's going into that movie expecting, like, a super engaging plot or anything. I'm I'm certainly not. <laughs> Excuse me. his leg back there that's his leg back there where some of these lines are so thin <laughs> so very thin it's like I'm trying to get close enough to get in the lines, and then once I'm in there, I can't tell what I'm <laughs> what's going on. Uh, I'll get rid of that. I always thought it was Pocahontas in space. I mean, it's it dances with wolves. I mean, white dude goes into some you know foreign tribe, falls in love, becomes one of the. How many times have we seen that movie? And oh uh, yeah, and you'll you'll come out hating yourself as a human. That's the other thing <laughs> that I've seen, <laughs> I've read. Anyway, great source of line art are the black and white Marvel essentials. Oh, yeah, I bet so. I bet so. You can't believe he made the Terminator and then Titanic. Yeah, he's got some range. That's for certain. You were wondering the same thing about the flats. I'm not understanding how you're doing all the flats on one layer. 
I don't understand why you're doing them on different layers. <laughs> what, uh, I guess we'll start there. What are you getting by using multiple layers that I am not getting by flatting on one? And then we'll go from there. <laughs> To me, to me, that might be the most, and don't take this the wrong way, but I think it might be the most commonly used, like, digital art trope that I find to be just completely useless. Like, it's one of those things that, like, so many people do, and... I think I understand why if I if I was doing this in let's say procreate I probably would not do it all on one layer um, because the limitations of the uh, what would you call it the limitations of the selection tools I would probably do like maybe each character well I don't know if you get each character on a layer I would probably do like Wolverine and Psylocke on a layer together and then maybe like and, and then probably Nightcrawler just to be able to get quick selections of everybody but when you're working with like fully functional selection tools I, I don't I don't see the need for it and now you feel sheepish <laughs> like well, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm on, it's, I'm, I'm asking honestly, like for once, I'm not being a smart ass. Like the, for the people that think that you can't do this on a layer or don't understand what I'm doing, like why? Like I'm, I'm truly trying to understand today. Promise. <laughs> I started on, uh, what's his name? Cable. Didn't I? I guess I could have done Cyclops first. It doesn't really matter or do you mean multiple flat layer flats like one for panels one for characters one for foreground one for backgrounds yeah I used to put every different flat color on different layers and and to alien there's a lot of artists on YouTube teach people to do that I, I, I see it constantly especially from like a digital painters it'll be like you know her clothing's on a layer her hair's on a layer her they and I think it's because like they don't know how flats work. I, honestly, I think that's all it is. I don't mean that as as assholeish as it sounds, but I really do think that's the case. Uh, because especially with clip, if, if like my when this is done, the flats will be uh, on a on a marked as the reference layer, and then the wand will be set to refer to that layer. And so I never even have to, to leave the layer I'm working on to make selections. And if you know how to do that, then you don't need a bunch of layers. Is that his leg? I think that's his leg going that way. We'll say it is. Does Cable have a band of hot dogs around his arm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hungry. Uh, little known fact, Cable's diabetic, see? And uh, type 1. So he's got to keep his... Uh, he's got to keep his... <laughs> I mean, hot dogs is not what you would be. This, this joke doesn't work. But... Anyway. But yeah, this this is how I teach people to flat, which is just break everything up into the big shapes first. And uh then you can break them down from there like as needed.
But yeah, I I couldn't do this for a living. Uh, I don't I don't know how you guys do it. That flat yourselves. I know some colorists that do. And I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Not not even a little bit. Not not if you're like not if you're getting paid anyway. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this, so I'm, that's why I'm here. And I also make a lot of little mini selections because I don't want uh, to do like some big massive selection and then like um, accidentally screw something up and have to redo the whole thing. It's easier to do it in little sections like this. And if you're wondering why sometimes I use the point to point and sometimes I trace the lines, it's literally just to break up the monotony of what my hand is doing. Because <laughs> sometimes like just tracing lines, especially this many lines, like my hand will start cramping up. Like I'm not used to, I don't do that like coloring, you know? So, uh, All right. Is that hair? Is that, yeah. Mm, I'm just trying to transfer from PS to CSP. I don't know all the tools yet. Uh, so you can flat on one layer and just selection by color layer. Yeah, but you can do that in Photoshop. Yeah, like like yeah. There's like like I said. There's there's some there's there's some misunderstanding <laughs> happening here somewhere, or or. Uh, like is if as long as you have a flats layer separate and you don't paint over it, then uh, you've always got that option to go to that layer. So no need to uh, no need to have a jillion layers. Uh, this hair is all over the place. We'll get it close and then fix it. <laughs> I apologize for my voice. If you're just joining, I am getting over uh, the Rona. I almost made it three years without catching it. <laughs> that was, uh, I guess it was going to get us all at some point. And plus around here, like no, no, there's nobody's been taking precautions for like months at this point. So I can't say that I'm too shocked. I don't know if it does that much good to wear a mask when like no one else is. <laughs> it's like, so who knows? This makes me want to read Wizard Magazine again. Yeah, like as soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, I got I to gotta do this. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are interested in what flatting is because there's, why, there's 41 people and there's more that's like 10 more than the average. Maybe I don't know anything. There's a good, good chance of that actually. Who knew this is what you guys really wanted to see? <laughs> It also has to do with, it's very cool line art. That helps. Uh, and this is a perfectly anatomically correct foot. Boy, do I ever love the 90s. <laughs> I love, I just, I love the style. It's insane.
uh mr woods gifted five i didn't know you could do that thank you so much i really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you if you're a member of the channel uh i do a live stream every month um you can get feedback on your work uh if you want and uh and you get all my old live streams the ones that aren't public i guess i should say all that but yeah thanks so much mr woods i appreciate that we got a couple of new members thanks to him so i appreciate that did, did it give those away randomly or uh how, how did that work did you get to choose who got them or how did i don't know how that works at all no one's ever done that before but yeah thanks a lot I love watching the whole process start to finish anything art. Yeah, I, I can see that. It's pretty fun. I do the same thing, I guess. I just don't watch a lot of, well, there's not a lot of us on YouTube, I guess, but, but I, I watch a lot of, uh, a lot of painters. I learned so much from digital painters, artists on YouTube. And I'm debating trying to like really paint the hill out of this. Like I was also a big fan of like well still am, I guess, the like the Hildebrandt brothers. They did some X Men, Wolverine, Sabretooth covers and stuff when I was a kid that I just it was I remember thinking it was like like the Mona Lisa didn't do anything for me. The Hildebrandt brothers cover <laughs> of uh with uh Sabretooth and and Wolverine it was fully fully painted There's, and, and and as a kid who's used to seeing like flat colors <laughs> and uh with a few gradients it was mind blowing i i can find that cover probably in 2 seconds Sabretooth cover Hilda Brandt that probably will do it they're screaming at each other. Their mouths are wide open. Yep, there it is. Uh, let me find uh, a bigger version of that real quick. Well, that's pretty big. And I'm like, I wonder, I've never seen somebody try to paint over Andy like that. And so I'm, it's interesting. But anyway, yeah, this is what, what the, those, what those guys did. And, uh, there's you know there, there, there's there's some line art but it's it's all painted basically and I, I i i like the idea of trying that on on this um oh, i had a couple other things that i was gonna i'll show y'all we might we might do these one day too uh Derek robertson cover uh i've been doing his barbaric covers lately and then this old joe mad uh before who was it that was always inking him after the fact it wasn't this guy Townsend anyway but uh, that could be fun too big energy and stuff but yeah so we got some fun stuff we could do later all right what else let's go ahead and do Nightcrawler I lost the stream where'd y'all go there we go uh i think it gives in the people by who's most active in the chat and watching oh interesting well cool i'll have to uh check that out so much of my childhood there yeah i know i know looks like pseudo alex ross i don't know if it looks like it's just painted i don't know if it looks like alex ross uh, a lot of those early articles are interesting reads now because of how they were against poly bags, <laughs> give it covers, etc. This is so fun because of uh, this is just fun to see because I because I read this particular special so many times. Um, yeah, that is funny. 
It's like all all these variant covers that'll never last. No one will put up with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, that's funny. Man, I sound do I sound as bad as I my voice sounds in my head? Ugh. <clears throat> But yeah, like I, I realized the other day how long it had been since I had done like just, you know, some spandex around here. <laughs> and uh, and I was I was watching or I had gone. I don't go to this, that subreddit very often, but I went to the comic book subreddit uh, and it's effectively like a Marvel DC comic subreddit. I mean, every now and then there's some image stuff, but um, that sub it's like they don't anything that's not Marvel DC or image is, is, is very rarely ever upvoted around there. But, uh, yeah, I was just looking I was thinking about that and I was thinking about how long it's been since I've, um, done some spandex -y superhero stuff. So here we go. <laughs> Uh, early Christmas surprise, got a new tablet. Nice. Just have to uninstall the Wacom driver, which is being a pain. Um, you might see, I don't know if they have one or not. Uh, I know NVIDIA does, but you might look for like a Wacom driver removal tool or something like that, if you haven't. And if I'm preaching to the choir, sorry. I don't know if that actually exists or not, but I know some drivers get a little sticky. And, uh, that might help. The selection is far too big. It's giving me anxiety. <laughs> so let's fix that. You did plenty of spandex for money shot. Uh, you know, spandex in the way the comics do spandex. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Yeah, I had given a copy of, uh, <laughs> of, uh, Nightfall, number one my comps had came in and my mom had come over a couple weeks ago and I gave it to her like, Hey, this is you know, a new book I'm working on. She's not, would not be into this at all. She's not into horror and that kind of stuff. And my little brother, she brought it home. My little brother, my little like six, five brother, um, messaged me. He's like, do you mean to give this to mom? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I didn't expect her to read it. I figured she'd give it to you, which is what I wanted. He's like, all right, cool. But yeah, it was funny. Tim Townsend usually ink Joe. Yeah. James, are, are you live live or am I just reading the chat slow? I, I, I check just to make sure. Um, sometimes when people consistently, I see comments like consistently from five minutes ago or something. I'm making sure that, I mean, I guess if you're not live, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but sometimes people don't know. <laughs> so device management yeah uh, i i love i love the fact that it's like group group tech support All right, we get all night crop. Nope, almost. All right, let's 
so we got all the figures well except for strong guy back there hmm, excuse me sorry so next uh let's i think i want to break up that that thing night crawlers on and then the smoke and then the sky and then that thing and then strong yeah we'll get there <laughs> and I don't I don't know if I uh I don't think I'm gonna break up every little nook and cranny of like cable. I don't think it's necessary. Uh Wolverine will do Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out the path here. <laughs> I need to go on. Because if you do it big to small, it really saves a lot of time later. Having to like uh What am I trying to say? Bobbing and weaving around the stuff you've already selected. <clears throat> Excuse me. I appreciate the fate it did that. And then I go install a new tab and it tells me I have to uninstall the other tablet driver. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what people yeah, I'm sorry. Um I was in IT for the first, you know, 10 years of my career. And so I don't know what people that don't know how to fix things do. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, uh, I have that background because it has come in quite handy. All the smoke on top we can do later. I'm trying to at least pick colors that aren't incredibly offensive to look at. <laughs> like, um, too neon or anything yeah I hope to see you uh hope to see you Thursday Jason or or whenever uh, fix that okay I got you all right that makes sense You messed up your PC and you had to figure out how to make CSP work in Linux again. I don't know. How, how much fun is that? I, I used to be one of those like tinkerers. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can get Ubuntu running or I wonder if I can triple boot this on my Mac with a PC and a Windows. And I did all that stuff. And then at some point it was like, wait, all this stuff has to work every day. <laughs> and I stopped. <laughs> I just stopped. Oh, man. All right. Uh, you know what? I think that actually goes that way. Yeah. Boy, there's so much stuff going on in this thing. That, this goes all the way over here. And then we'll do that smoke later. Fun stuff. Yeah, I don't think this will... Yeah, we're, we're an hour in already. Hopefully I can render something before the end of the stream today. <laughs> if not, whatever doesn't get done, we'll, uh, we'll definitely do next week. And maybe the next... I, I'm guessing with the amount of detail that I want to try to do on this, I basically kind of want to see how far I can push it. Um, and I also, I think, I, like I said, I think I want to try some overpainting kind of stuff on this maybe. 
I have no idea if that's going to look good or not. But I'll know, I'll know when I'm done. <laughs> So, let me just do all of that like that, but not that green. I just don't want to look at really intense colors. I, I really have, I think I've sort of conditioned my brain that if I see like that, that green, I'm just like, no, I, I, like it sends off so many warning signs that it just gives me a headache. <laughs> it's like, that's not going to print. Well, it's a good place to get free comic art to practice. Uh, I got this from um, Heritage Auctions. If you look up Heritage Auctions. Um, search for whatever you're uh, you're looking for on there, and uh, you'll probably find it. But yeah, there's tons of like old classic covers and newer stuff, and uh, a little bit of everything, and they have uh, really high quality scans. Some are higher than others, but they're they're good enough for this, <laughs> for what we're doing today. Just Google line art and go for it. Yeah, but he, I mean, I, I understand what he's asking though. Like, like you're going to find a lot of low res images uh, just on Google. But, um, but one thing that, and I did a video about this, um, but if you go into your Google search and search like, let's say, original, you know, X-Men art or something, um, then uh oh that's going this way and then go up to that should pull up like the image results and then at the top you've got a couple of buttons up there let's say uh here let me just show this real quick uh google so like um Amazing Spider-Man original art cover. And go to go to images, go to tools, hit the size to large. And uh, I mean, you can even go like color black and white. And that's going to narrow it down even more. Um, but then you've got, you know, pretty high res stuff. This is from Heritage Auctions here. So and that's 3000 pixels tall. You know, so uh, there's old classic Spidey cover again. It's like 2K tall, about 2K, 2K. Yeah, so most of these are like two or three thousand pixels tall. That's plenty big enough for like practicing coloring. So, you know, throw in the name of the artist you like or whatever. You know, there's lots of options. Strong with the Google Foo, yes. I'm glad I caught this stream. It's already answered several questions. Uh, well, that's well, that's why I'm here. I missed the search wording. What did you type in? Uh, what did I type? Like amazing Spider-Man original art cover, I think. 
if you throw in original art, then that will uh, usually rule out any colored versions. And then you can also actually set the color filter to black and white. And uh, that will also um, do it for you. There is nothing that I, I think I dislike flatting smoke worse than anything. It's so curvy. <laughs> You know, it's like we'll spend the same amount of time, you know, on this wisp of smoke. <laughs> it's like all of Wolverine. <laughs> Probably. All righty. Um, I guess this is also part of... I think that's all the same thing. Yeah. And what else? Let me go ahead and separate this thing out while I'm here. Let's get it over with. <laughs> One thing about low res images, if you go to resize, resample, preserve details, it does yeah, there's all there's a couple of good uh like AI upsizers out there too. Um there's one, and I can't remember the name of it. It has sort of an unfortunate name, but I do remember that. And it was originally designed, I think, for manga pages. But if you... Uh... But yeah, there's probably... Um... There's probably more than that these days. But yeah, there's a couple little online tools where you upload it and it uses whatever machine learning, AI, algorithm, magic to make it look better. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Is that everything? We've got our sky. We've got clouds. Oh, I meant to do... I guess the only thing to separate here at this stage is the this background from strong guy and then we'll move into the next sort of phase of this I guess And uh, here's a little quick art lesson for you. You notice how strong guy, the lines are a little bit thinner than they are on the characters in the front. And that does two things. It makes him appear to be further away just because of the, the contrast is uh, different between uh, him and the other characters there it sort of pushes him back a, a little bit there, and you'll also notice there's all there, the shadows on him are minimal 
where does this go? Hold on. That's that. Uh, but yeah, you'll notice the shadows are just hatching at the bottom. So he's basically indicating to us this is intended to look hazy. Um, really, because there's no, really no spot blacks at all, except for the few on his reflections up here. So um, you can imagine him, I mean, he's a big guy, so you can imagine him being sort of feeling like there's a little bit of haze between him and the rest of this uh, thing here. Man, I really don't want to do this smoke, but I don't think I have a choice. All the smoke. You should live stream Amazing Spider-Man 328 next. LOL. The LOL seems a little sinister there. Is there like a thousand people on this cover or something? Oh, the Grey Hulk thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a cool cover. All right. Let's do the smoke. I really didn't want to do this, but... If I don't separate it now, I'm just going to be mad at it and separate it um, earlier. Or... Later, I'm going to be mad that I didn't. <laughs> Does this make sense what I'm trying to say? Sorry. I'm going to regret it if I don't separate it now. Um, where is this going? Hold on. Uh, all of this is that. Not that. Not that. Is that sorry? I'm having to make some guesses here a little bit. Yeah, this would I don't even know. I don't think uh, it's the one issue I have with the flatting service that I use is that they're they're very, very like mechanically minded. And this would be horrendous. It wouldn't work. <laughs> I don't think it would work. This is uh, the fill the fill in mono pen. It's just. Uh, it's just a pin that's anti-aliased and acts like what we would want for flats. So sometimes for really, really small things, um, that's a good way to do it. Maybe. And I'm going to draw like myself some, <laughs> some help here for a second. That, that goes there, there. There, goes that way, and then this is a thing. Yeah, I, and I at least have some idea about where we're headed. <laughs> is it better to separate most of it to map? Otherwise, you have more work to do later. Well, like I, I've just learned over the years that like if. There's been plenty of times where I've been like, well, I don't need to flat the whole thing. Let me just separate the big stuff and then I'll blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it never works. I always have to stop halfway through and just end up, you know, finishing flatting it because um, you end up relying on them heavily, or at least I do. But sometimes I'll, I'll draw a little guides like this for just for myself especially when you're zoomed up like the lines are so thin and so when you're zoomed up it can be really hard to tell um 
kind of what's happening. Gets a little hazy through here, doesn't it? Yep. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Somebody asked for it. No. I think the last big piece you did was where you did flats. The detail was the X-Men image, but there were like 40 characters. Did I flat that too? I don't remember. Maybe I did. Why did I do that? <laughs> Probably the same reason I'm doing this one. Just felt like it. See, this is not on a deadline, and I don't mind flatting as much when it's not on a deadline. I hope to have a new book announcement soon, also. The only problem, I don't know if you guys noticed that just now, but you just notice that there's slight differences in those two colors there. There, there are JPEG artifacts <laughs> on the image. And so some like, you see how I'm clicking around within the same color and you see how the, the color wheel is very, very slightly moving. That's not in the color, it's in the ink. You can kind of see it along these edges. So, you know, sometimes these scans aren't as good as what you would get if you were actually working on it. But it's in the ballpark. I just, if you see me hiding the inks to grab the underlying color, that's why. Um, so that I end up actually getting the same color. Because even in these spaces where it looks like it's all uniform, it might be like literally 1% pixel off or whatever, you know? And uh, that's enough to affect that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Coughing. So yeah, questions, comments, concerns. It was already colored, but you grayed it out and then started selecting. Well, I'm going to do that anyway. Like even when I'm done with this, the first thing I'm going to do is cover it up because I don't, I don't want any of this to come through as far as like the actual final colors. Um, you'll notice that too on like, um, I think, I think I left it on the channel that, uh, that Venom Spider-Man thing I did. It's like I flatted it. And then the next thing it looks like happens is it looks like I delete the flats, but I, I don't, I'm just, I put a new layer on top and fill that. And uh, use that. Here is 
this smoke going. Yeah, some of this is a little loosey goosey. Let's go that way. getting there. <laughs> You'll be platting rubble in 2024. No, nah, I'm not going to separate all that stuff. I'm going to do it. How to stay relevant in this uh, AI art world without using AI art. Uh man don't uh don't sweat it too much i think i think it'll all uh one of two things is going to happen um the novelty will wear off and uh people will stop caring as much um or it won't and uh you know, the same rules I would say, uh, or advice I would give before the AI art explosion, which is uh, to get good, <laughs> is to uh, get good. I do think it's funny that Mid Journey is still having issues with hands. I'm like, that's such a, that's such a real artist thing to have a problem with. But yeah, I think that it's just gonna evolve. I mean, everything's gonna evolve. I mean, maybe you, uh, uh, maybe you become the guy that fixes hands <laughs> in, a, in AI. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. One of these days I'm going to get this shape right. <laughs> it is not this selection either, is it? There we go. I keep forgetting that that cuts through the middle there. Sorry. All right, what else? What else? How often do you change color the line art is only good on modern comics? It's only good on modern comics. Basically no black line art. What? <laughs> I, I feel like those are two sentences. Um, what are you asking me? Do I change the color of the line sometimes? Yes. Am I actively doing that right now? No. <laughs> Will I before the end of this? Probably. Fixing a arts, what you want to do? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm really not kidding. Like that was, uh, I, I saw a guy that was, uh, that, um, he had made some uh, art with Mid Journey or something, and the hands were terrible. And he hired an actual artist to fix the hands for his project. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, I guess that works. The real question is, how long does it take till Mid Journey or all these AI like can draw hands? And the answer is not very long. <laughs> so don't get too excited. 
like it it was funny to me i mean and terrifying how quickly we went from well obviously mid journey has a problem with faces and hands and it's not a, oh they fixed it like <laughs> it was for weeks people were saying yeah see the details the ai can't oh never mind like they just put out a massive update fixed all this crap or not all of it but a lot of it and uh so yeah i don't know i'm fascinated by the tech I, i'm really i'm not uh um I'm not just a straight up hater of this stuff. I mean, I have issues with it, of course, but I also am not naive enough to think that it's going away. That genie is out of the bottle, never to return. So, there's that. All right. I think we're down to one wisp left that I want to do, which is that one. And then the rest of that, uh, we do have a couple other things in there, but that'll go quick. Yeah, this is going to be like a two hour flatting job. <laughs> and even then, I don't know if I'll get done done. Where am I going? Let's go back this way. But yeah, I, I don't know how they're going to get around. Um, I mean, I totally agree. I'm glad there's websites that are letting you, you know, opt out of having your art um, scanned by this thing or this or this stuff. But it's like, I, I don't know... Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I think it's just, it's too late. <laughs> I would actually love to see how you take a colored comic page and change it to black and white. Uh, levels adjustments, probably. <laughs> None of that stuff is as complicated as it seems. Like if you stripped, like what I would do is take, um, take all the color out, like put it in, um, just desaturate it completely. So you just basically have a, basically a value painting and then just levels out all the midtones. And that's it. And it would take some finagling, but yeah, it's not like a. It's not particularly interesting or not interesting, but difficult. In my opinion, <laughs> I guess I should start with that. Um, here's this. Yeah, it's right now I'm I'm not using Mid Journey for anything, but looks like I have a goofy idea and want to see it. <laughs> and uh, and and uh, like I was I was let me show you guys something the other day because I thought this was hilarious. Um, let's move that over there. I had a dream that um, I really did have a dream that I somebody dug up like it was on the news <laughs> that I'm going to have a hard time finding this um, that somebody dug up an ancient Wacom tablet in like Egypt and where did I post that? I posted that on my discord somewhere here it is <laughs> and I'm like well, this will be funny and so uh, this is what we ended up <laughs> with I love this guy right here. This is like, you know, he's on the BBC documentary and here, and here's the part, you know, 
and it's ludicrous and it's dumb and he's got six fingers or something but it has it serves me no purpose other than to get a giggle out of it but yeah anyway this is what <laughs> journey came up with the idea that you have like a wacom tablet that you're drawing hieroglyphs on in ancient egypt i just i don't know why i thought that was so funny anyway all right um do i want to break up yeah i think i do i want to break up these things real quick and that'll be all with the background i think i lost my chat where'd y'all go Will I be leaving this up on YouTube? I I don't know yet. We'll see. If AI gets good enough, I think it's not impossible for big companies to see their stuff so easily reproducible in lobby for laws. Uh, it's definitely not at that level yet. Um, wait, wait until we have like, you know, game journey or something, and and you you type. Uh, I want to play a fighting game um, with Batman against, you know, Sabretooth in the style of Mortal Kombat. And you'll have it. Then what? <laughs> like, we'll have that within five years, I think. You know, but it's already coding. The, the, the other GBT chatbot is already doing coding. So, I'm telling y'all, like... Um, Cyberdyne, <laughs> Cyberdyne is upon us, uh, which is the company from Terminator, if you don't remember. The biggest issue with AI is law and ethics. It's advancing too fast for those to catch up. And, and and there's no one that's better suited to stay on top of tech than American politicians. I mean, I can't speak for you guys other parts of the world, but we're so far behind. Um, they're laughably terrible at, uh, at keeping up with tech in general. And th we're talking about like cutting edge, bleeding edge technology, yeah, yeah, we'll have laws on the books in about ten years at the rate that we uh <laughs> at the rate that we do this. All right. I'm not worrying about separating any of that stuff. I don't see anything else in the background it needs to be separated. I don't think so. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna relabel this to big flats. Is what I'm gonna call it. And uh, I'm gonna duplicate that layer and call this flats. Why do I do that? And I'm gonna lock this so I don't ever screw it up. Um, the reason I do this is I'm gonna break down these you know these guys and their flat colors but at any point if i'm just like man i need to like make wolverine cooler then i'll just go to this layer and select him um if i'm on the right layer and i didn't screw up the colors on them which i did <laughs> let me try that again yeah that's a perfect example of like yeah you can see the line there where i i, I color picked without realizing that this is uh um, what do you call it? Not the same actual color. There we go. I'll probably have to do that another time or two. Uh, let me just make sure Cyclops is good. Cable's good. She's good. And he's good. Yeah. So I can very, very quickly, um, you know, remove any of that. Or, or if, um, Trying to give another good example off the top of my head. I can't think of one. But anyway, it's just handy. It's handy to have. Um, and so for the rest of this, um, I'm going to do on this layer. 
And let's just start with Wolverine. <clears throat> and you should never, ever have to tr uh, trace the same separation twice. If your if your tools are set properly, you shouldn't ever have to worry about those edges again. Um. So like, what I mean by that is, if I'm doing this and I just feel that, it's it's respecting the existing lines, right? Um. Oh, you know what? Let me. I just realized I did something. Let's put that on a new layer and then duplicate that again. Did I do that right? Nope. I copied the wrong colors on him to the new flats is what happened. There we go. So let's do that again. Sorry. And then merge this down again. Whoops, not all the layers. Merge with that layer. Now it should be good. But yeah, I was, uh, every now and then YouTube will show me like a really basic you know, hey, here's how you color in so and so app or whatever. And and I think it was a Procreate video. And I was like, what what are they what are they telling these people? You know, and so I, I'm watching it, and uh, <laughs> nowhere near as judgy as it sounded like I was. But I was like, let me just see what people are saying. And I saw, and I was just horrified. This guy kept repeatedly, repeatedly tracing the exact same edges over and over and i'm like it's just telling people bad info and the comments are like this is great this is wonderful um this is going to save me so much time i'm like no it's not <laughs> i wanted to get I, I of course i didn't say anything but i'm sitting here thinking like this is a horrible process but anyway you can't win them all And yes, I will judge your process if it's not efficient enough. <laughs> Absolutely will. Maybe an AI could come up with the laws. Yeah, exactly. If AI is going to replace anything, it should be politicians. Yeah, they probably they probably should. I don't know if it can be worse. Dumb question: Can you set eyedropper to pick from the current layer? You can, and and I, the reason that I don't, that's one of those settings that I will forget and then get really irritated when it's not doing what I want. <laughs> I end up having to like figure that out again. I think I actually made, uh, the only reason that I put a copy of the eyedropper here is so that I could get to the menu to change that. I just, I, I don't, I just don't do it a lot. It's kind of like the reason why I never turn on anti-aliasing on my lasso is I will forget to turn it back off again. <laughs> and if that happens, uh, I'm just mad. So it's one of those things I just leave alone. I just really leave it alone. How to become a lasso expert? Um, practice. I don't know if that's the exact same color or not. I'm gonna do a different color. Um, yeah, there's there's not a whole lot with the lasso. There's really not. Um, there's not a whole lot to to learn. I don't think. Maybe there is. 
I probably actually I, I probably should do a video just on selections because I do a lot of shortcuts with selections that save a lot of time. These are not final colors before anybody starts trying to tell me about what color he is. I'm just separating everything. I don't really care what the colors are at the moment. I mean, they're in the ballpark of what color he is, but these are not final colors. Enjoy the membership. Lots of streams to watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was very nice, Mr. Woods. I appreciate that very much. Do, 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 do. What color? His whole belt's. Is it red? Oh, I hate when Clip does this. <laughs> so, it won't let me choose because the boxes are too big. Um, and. I tell you what. For the sake of people that are just coming in through YouTube and they saw the thumbnail and, and they're like, oh man, this guy doesn't know what color Wolverine is. Just for y'all, I'm going to do it in all local colors. <laughs> and then everybody can decide from there. <laughs> I wouldn't want to scare anybody off with a yellow Cyclops. This guy's an idiot. This is the performance art <laughs> behind, behind YouTube you have to do. Uh, you won't believe how this color does Wolverine. Exactly. Exactly. But this this has a little bit of everything. We've, we've got we got energy blast, so we can do like colored lighting. We've got we got claws. We got atmosphere. There's a whole lot going on in this thing. So. Uh, I think it'll be fun. And I, like I said, might as well get these colors in the ballpark. Color him pink to mess with people. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there was one stream I remember where I the, the, the art was flatted already, like 99.9% .9 of the work that I do. And so I, the first thing I was doing was going in and just changing the base colors. And, and somebody came in and they were like, when I started rendering, it was like, oh, <laughs> like we did. I didn't know you're going to do this too. Like, so yeah, it's funny. Yeah, but these, but these are these are my X Men. When I think of X Men, this is exactly what I think about. I don't think about Krakoa or uh, Resurrections and or whatever's going on. I don't even know what's going on right now. But the last time I watched, everybody you couldn't kill the X Men or something. 
And I'm like, well, surely this is not a problem. Surely this will not come back to be an issue. But yeah, I'm so behind on... Uh, I can't remember the last time I sat down and read a book. And that's... And that, I, I rem that's just sad, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I should probably catch up. How are we doing? What are we missing on him? I'm going to try to set that to pick from the layer for now, and we'll see if I can actually remember that. <laughs> remember to change that back later. Um, what else? I sort of dread cable. We'll do him, <laughs> we'll do him last. I mean, I end up separating more on him than I want, but... All right. Um, old Psylocke. Yeah, I was also just a big fan of how um, all of uh, Andy's uh, uh, anatomy in general was a huge influence on how I draw. He did this thing that I had never seen anybody do at the time where the, the pupils would be light and like the, the quote unquote whites of the eyes would be, uh, like inked kind of like well like her here <laughs> actually uh, where like her pupil is basically just a spot you know I always thought that was fascinating because it looks like it shouldn't work and then it does <laughs> perfectly reasonable waist size <laughs> her legs are twice the size of her waist that's how you do it she was particularly uh, interesting <laughs> and how Sarah and her uh, whatever her workout plan is pretty unique Thick thighs saves lives. This is very satisfying to watch, really. I guess I could see that. Little, little zen, zen out action. I apologize for how uh, I sound today. 
the old the Rona caught up with me finally. You know how hard it is to not catch COVID in Mississippi <laughs> for three years. <laughs> I did my best. We're getting there. We're getting there. I enjoy flatting or dropping colors, as I call it. Can be the best bit. To each his own. <laughs> All right. I don't... I do remember what this costume looks like. Red, red on the hands and the back. White stripes here on the on the glubby things. Is that it? I think that's it. Somebody will tell me if I'm wrong. Boy, his he is so good at hair. This little wave of. hair is very impressive yeah I can't believe I really think this is the first time I've ever tried coloring Adam's work at all I'm sort of surprised by that. I figured I would have tried it at some point. <laughs> but I guess not. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just, uh, we're, getting, we're in the home stretch. <laughs> the home stretch. Home stretch for flatting, anyway, <laughs> to be clear. <clears throat> and his tail. Well, his face is to be different from his suit, also. There's that, and then we'll do that, the same color. on the tail. Uh, this is fun to watch, thanks. The way I color reminds me you must unlearn what you have learned. Well, I wouldn't even, to me, this isn't the coloring part. This is just the, this is just technical separations. So however you color, I'm sure is fine. <laughs> All right, we got him done. Mm. 
We'll do Cable next. He'll be the toughest one. He's got the most stuff going on. Is that his hairline? <laughs> I don't know. We're in the ballpark. I think that's a hair. Yeah. Oh, he's got the beard, too. getting there James what are you uh, what are you watching or what did you see that uh, is different than what you do I'm just curious he might be oh he said he's gone with his kids he might be gone already Yeah, I said I wasn't going to separate all him, but I don't know how you don't. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to have to. Still having fun. All you guys that said this was enjoyable earlier, it's like, well, <laughs> we thought you'd be done already. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done the all the all flatting stream. Very exciting. <laughs> uh, where is this gun going? This way. Listening and inking a page. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> I don't know what else to say about flatting at this point. <laughs> After... Right at two hours. How do 
I messed that up? Um, oh well, I'll fix it. <laughs> I overlapped something I didn't mean to overlap. Here are Cable's Emergency Polish Sausage. He gets very hangry when his blood sugar gets low. No offense to real diabetics. <laughs> Sausage wouldn't be what you eat anyway. It's a dumb joke. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I don't want to worry about all that gun. Ooh, pouches. Love pouches. Again, not really final colors. I'm just trying to get a ballpark in here. And this is the last part, I think. Um, all right. Last guy. Finally. Eric Strong, save the best for last. Very funny, very funny. Do you prefer a color with Clip Studio Vaint Paint versus Photoshop? I do, I do, I do. Um, Photoshop, it's, it's my, the process is almost identical, except um, Photoshop doesn't have reference layers. So later on, when I start rendering this. If I want see, um, I want a different layer now above my flats. So, without having to change layers, my wand will select from the flats layer. But I'm not on that layer. Okay, so I can very quickly make a selection and do rendering, and make a selection and do some rendering, and make a selection and do some rendering and never have to go to my layer window. And that's possible in Photoshop with like actions and scripts and you gotta name your layers a certain way and like it's feasible to do. It's highly technical to set up though or more technical than most people would want, want to set up. Um, so that alone is the primary reason why I use Clip Studio because it's such a massive, massive time saver. Oops, sorry. Sorry again. Come on, there we go. I was trying to rotate. Um, I do end up um, in Photoshop for my final, you know, deliverable. Uh, the TIFF file and all that, CMYK. Uh, Clip doesn't really support that properly, so. That's why I still use Photoshop for that. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's fair to say like Photoshop is still, I mean, regardless of what I say, it's still 
quote unquote the standard. Um, but more and more people are using other things, and I'm hoping that uh, hoping we get some good. Uh, I don't know what color he is. I'm realizing off the top of my head, but uh, but yeah. Hopefully somebody comes along in the future and corrects that. Clip Studio, uh, as a company, doesn't seem to be the least bit interested in, in doing that. So. Then all of their announcements and all of their BS they've included in them, it's uh, one thing that has never been mentioned is CMYK support. So... I have, I'm not going to hold my breath anymore for that. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, but. And I guess it does. You consider how popular black and white manga is over there. <laughs> that makes sense. But still, you would think, right? You think somebody would want to <laughs> do something with that after this long? All righty. Um, what, uh, was it yellow he wears? I can't remember. Uh, opinion on Krita. Uh, here it's a good app. I've just never really used it. I've got it installed, but, uh, I haven't, uh, actually used it. Not very much anyway. Oh, <sighs> excuse me. All right. Well, <laughs> two hours and eight minutes. I think I've got this thing as flatted as I want it to be. Uh, make all that that color. So, um, what we'll do next stream next week is actually start uh, coloring this, <laughs> or what I or the the fun part. Um, oh, that is not the base; that is the inks. But uh, what I will do next week. Uh, is, um, let's see, where is hard layer? There we go. Um, the reason that I start from like a neutral base most of the time when I do want to start picking my actual colors is if I start from here, okay, knowing full well that the background colors are not correct, most of the cost, some of the costumes are not that correct, some of them are, um, Coloring is about understanding the differences in the contrast and the colors you're choosing, the differences in hues, the differences in saturation levels, the differences in value. And if I start from what is effectively an incorrect base, you know, I'm like, say, for example, uh, Psylux colors, um, they make sense right now, sort of against that background. But if I were to change that background color, her colors would probably need to be shifted also. Um, what I mean by that is like, uh, let me just grab a few areas here and shift this like red probably. So if the background behind her is orange, It doesn't work the way it did before, right? I don't know if you guys kind of feel that, but uh, I would want to come in and kind of cool off some of those colors because there's orange around it now. Like it, they, they don't uh, they don't fit well. There's not good contrast between the two. Um, so when I'm starting, I tend to start from a completely neutral starting point, and that way I can establish 
what color my background is going to be, what kind of patterns those things make, so that the actual colors I go to choose for the characters, I've got something consistent and correct to compare it to. Does that make sense? Opinion on solo levelings? Coloring. I don't know. Solo leveling. That's something I do in World of Warcraft. Or used to. <laughs> I don't anymore. Uh, I don't know. Is that is that a YouTube channel or something? I'm guessing. I'm trying to Google it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Sorry. It's a very famous Korean comic. Oh. Uh, Korean webtoon. Solo leveling. All right. Let me see. <clears throat> here I'll pull this in here um, yeah it's cool cell shaded kind of style or cutting there's a little bit of gradients in it I guess but yeah that's no, good Yeah, the 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 same um, the principles I talk about apply to everything. Um, you know, I've 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 talked to y'all about um, well, like like this like this page is a quick example. Um, I think everybody's doing the same stuff. We might call it different things or might have different names for it, but we're all doing the same stuff. <laughs> Which is um, uh, let's see, where do I have a recent color wheel no give me a second do, 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 do. where is uh... there we go oh, sorry give me a second here Whoops, sorry about that. Where is... That's not it. Sorry, I, I think I accidentally updated bridge. <laughs> it looks so... It, everything looks different now. And color wheel. But yeah. I, 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 thought, I think that's just funny just because um, even on like a like random Korean webcomic I've never seen. The principles are solid. Um, but yeah, I took a quick screenshot of this from uh, from that comic. Um, and some of you guys have, have commented and emailed that I've oversimplified uh, color theory a little bit. I don't think I have. Um, look at the, the colors that are on the front of this guy, okay, or on this character in the front. They're mostly darker and mostly saturated um, compared to, say, the background. But all, all of these colors are, you know, like it's like a saturated skin tone. We got the uh, saturated uh, pants there and everything. But notice in, in the area, like immediately around where you want the audience to look, look at how similarly colored those everything back here is. So literally if you use my rubber band theory of contrast this guy in the front he's got colors here he's got colors over here he's got some grays in here he's got that backpack color over here and so all of these colors if you can imagine like drawing a rubber band around them like how tight that would be and you would get a lot of tension uh between all these colors because they're all far apart within the color system here but compare that to everything back here. That color is right about, let me use a different color to represent this. So that color is about there. 
and that building color is about there and that building color is about there and that's about there so all the background is close to itself it's close to itself in uh, the colors are literally right next to each other um, and these people in the background are closer to these background colors than they are the foreground colors because they're in the background so I mean it's really solid principles of like uh, you know um, separating planes and I mean, it's all like really solid uh, solid coloring um, yeah I mean they're literally just um, leaving him as the only thing in these panels that have black ink everything else has blue ink and so you've got a little bit more contrast on him than you do everything else um but yeah it's a really clean looking book i mean it looks really good but yeah nice the later chapters use a lot of gray i'd like your opinion um my uh, my opinion how like i mean it's uh, opinion of what yeah there's a lot of ways to get there it's pretty fun reading uh webtoons like these because you actually see the artists developing their art style with each chapter huh interesting I just love seeing you analyze colors. Um, I, it, I mean, if if it's that different, I mean, let me let me see what you're talking about. Cause I'm missing something. What was the name of this thing again? Solo leveling. And more recent episodes. So let's go to. Oh, this has been running a while, huh? Oh, it's not going to let me, uh, yeah, I don't have the uh, ability to see this new stuff, but anyway, sure. It's fine, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm not able to see uh, the newer, the newer stuff. But uh, any other uh, any other questions, comments, concerns before I wrap this up today? For, thank you all for watching again. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you want more of a just step by step hand holding process, uh, I've got a lot of courses on uh, coloring with uh, Photoshop, Clip Studio, Procreate. I'm editing another Procreate course at the moment on using Procreate to color sequential comic book pages. And so we'll see if anybody wants to do that. Um, top five comics of the year. Dude, I don't even know one comic this year. Um, I haven't read anything this year. <laughs> uh, have a great day. I hope you and your wife feel better. Thank you, uh, Mr. Powerlifting. I appreciate it. All right, going once. All right, looks like everybody's wrapping it up. Um, appreciate it, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Check the links in the description. Click buttons. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next one.